those days the primitives did prostrate themselves by night to the honor and service of the devil. celebrated until the coming of a great God whom they call Buddha and to whom the salvation of souls belongs. Him they believed once to have come upon the earth whence he departed from the top of the highest mountain on the island called in the Chingule language Amalel but by the Portuguese and the European nation Adam speak. It is sharp like a sugar loaf and on the top a flat stone with the print of a foot like a man's on it but far bigger, being about two foot long. It is the footprint of the Buddha. The people of this land count it meritorious to go and worship this impression. And generally about their new year, which is in March, they, men, women, and children, go up this vast and high mountain to worship. up this vast and high mountain to worship.
our Buddha, who acquired Nirvana, who came into the world like other Buddhas, from whom is derived the food of life, who is celebrated for his 32 great manly beauties and for the 82 signs connected with them, and for the light which shines a fathom round his body, and for the beams of light that dart from the top of his head, who is the preceptor of three worlds, who is acquainted with the past, present and future, who during four asankhyas of Kalpes so conducted himself as to be an example of the thirty great qualities, who subdued Mara and his attendants and became Buddha. In the eighth year from that event, he rose into the air, spread beams of light of six different colors round his person, and stamped the impression of his foot, bearing the noble marks Chakra Lakshana and the 108 auspicious tokens on the rock Samantakuta Parvati, which is celebrated for the cold and lovely waters of its rivers, for its mountain torrents, and for its flowery groves spreading in the air their sweet-scented pollen, which is the crown of the Virgin Island, rich in mines of all kinds of precious stones, like a maid decked with jewels. shadow is cast from this mountain for a space of 70 miles, formed, as it seems, of strange vapors. For it lieth not on the land, but a little above it, so that the hills and valleys appear veiled beneath.
belongeth only to the women to fetch both wood and water. Their priests are debarred from laying their hands to any manner of work, nor may they eat but one meal a day which means they must beg of the people who willingly give out of their store for the merit they gain thereby.